Hi folks, this is Karim Rauf from IT Visualizer channel. They will continue our lab, the Red Alert lab. This is the video number six. I've been discussing in the previous video the following. We have been continue working with our <coughs> newly created GPOs. Okay, uh, we have created them and then we need to apply them. So to apply them, we need to link them to certain organization, organizational units in the Active Directory and to specify which object in these organizational units these uh, GPOs will be applied to okay so we have done this we have linked uh, different GPOs to different organizational units some of them uh, contain users Th these GPOs will be applied to them some contain computers these GPOs will be uh, applied to them or both okay so we have done this and then we have created a GPO for each army you as you all know we have three armies the ally army the Japanese army and the Russian army so we'll create a GPO for each army uh, and we'll use these GPOs to apply certain backgrounds and lock screens uh, lock screen savers and screen savers for every army so every army will have or every user uh, for every army when he logs in to his machine he will see his army background so we will see the ally uh, user will see the ally army's background on his desktop and he will see the uh, ally army lock screen on his on his computer and he will see the screen saver for the ally army on his computer the same apply for the japanese army users and the russian army users okay and then we have configured these group policies so no one can change the background so for example if the ally user try to change his background from uh, his army background to any uh, other thing it will not be per prohibited or it will not be applied or it is prevented so we have created gpos to apply different backgrounds and different lock screens and different screen savers for different armies and we uh, lock these gpos or we prevent users from changing the different backgrounds and lock screens and screen savers so we have done this in the previous video in this video we have another thing we need to apply we need to create a gpo okay what G this gpo also will also have uh, a gpo for every army to apply a certain default account uh, picture see this one this is uh, the picture that is uh, attached to any user in the Windows Phone. This is called default account profile picture. So we need for every army. If, for example, I am an army in uh, the ally and I, I need to log in, so I need to see a certain picture here when I log in. So what should this picture uh, look like? I will show you also. For example, here we go to the ally. Here we will have something like this. Let's show you all so I need let's also make it a little bit here so I need to see this photo as a picture okay so this picture I need it to replace this picture I need it to replace what to replace this picture okay especially if this user is an ally user okay so we need this to be changed to this this is for the ally users as for the Japanese I need also this picture so let's return back to the Japanese okay we need uh, this picture okay to be applied so let's also uh, minimize it like this so we need this photo to replace this photo okay and as for the uh, Russian army so let's go to the Russian army here we will go to the Russian army and we need also this to be applied to the Russian army users this icon to be or to replace this one so every army will have his default account picture okay different than the other okay so let's see how we can do this so we have a different or we can tailor the experience for every user for each army so every army will have his own backgrounds his own lock screens his own screen servers his own default account picture profile okay so let's see how we do this and when we finish this video in the upcoming video we'll begin creating the second domain controller which will be our file server and our wsos and a lot of things so the second one will be or the second domain controller will be a file server and a wsos and we will also install on it uh, windows data center uh, core okay so let's 
first see what we will do in this video how we can create default uh, uh, account picture profile let's see how this we can be done so let's continue here so here we will open the VM workstation pro and then we will open the domain controller which is RACC01 we have already uh, we are familiar now with the RACC01 which is our primary domain controller and the PAL which is our workstation that we use it to connect remotely to our server which contains uh, Windows Server data center core operating system which doesn't have a graphical interface so we use this workstation to have a graphical interface so we can uh, manage this server remotely okay so let's see here now we will open the pow and then we will create or we will have a group policy for every army to have his default so let's see here for example if now I am logging in with an ally army user this profile picture or this photo should reflect the icon or the flag of the ally army okay so everyone will have his certain a picture so let's see this this is done in many organizations by the way to have a unified picture as a, a profile picture so let's see here I'm using my Kera off okay this is the domain admin account now we'll pause the video and then we will open our uh, console and then we will open every group policy the group policy that we have created earlier for every army the ally gpo the japanese gpo and the russian gpo we will edit these group policies also or we will not create new ones to 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 have default or to have a default account picture we will use the same group policies okay we have created earlier okay to uh, work with it so here we can see that this website says that uh, this picture this picture that I showed you all this picture the one that I was talking about for a couple of seconds just a moment so where is the pictures or where you can you see the picture or where the picture of the this windows are saved so let me show you all this one let me have a look here so this picture where it is saved okay it is saved in a place let me show you all this picture is saved here it is saved in program data or C program data folder called C program data Microsoft user account pictures and it's called user.pmp so this is the photo the default photo for the windows that I showed you all from a couple of seconds it was saved here so we need to create a group policy to replace this default account picture with other one that we uh, we need okay so we can do this from the group policy and we will open administrative templates and then we'll apply the default user login picture to all users and we we will replace this default picture which is this one the one that i've showed you all from a couple of seconds this one so let me show you all this is the one we replace this one okay with another one okay so let's see now how we can do this so now we will go and open our group policy management console and then we will open each group policy for each army okay and then we will open here we will open the group policy objects then we will open the ally GPO and tell him edit and then we will open the computer configuration and then policies first and then administrative templates not windows setting so here it is administrative templates not uh, windows setting so we'll go to administrative templates computer configuration and then we will go to so here it is computer configuration policies administrative templates and then control panel okay and then we will go to user accounts here we will activate this uh, uh, group policy which will apply a certain photo to be our default account picture profile photo okay and he says here that it is stored here is a little bit of a confusion here it says that uh, the profile picture it is saved 
at the same destination that we have seen in the URL but user.gpg not user.pmp so one of them is not correct uh, this is not correct because it saves at user.pmp not user.gpg so we will see that there is some conflict between what is written here and what is written in uh, the URL I am using and actually the URL I am using is the correct one because when you check this location you will not see user.gpg you will see user.pmp so let's see now you will enable this uh, this group policy and then we need to make something or we need to tell the windows to replace the user.gpz or user.pmp this default profile picture we will replace it with uh, uh, each army's uh, user profile photo we will see that in a moment so let's see how we'll do this first we have applied or we have opened this uh, uh, group also we need to do this for the uh, rest of the two armies the one that we have so first of all if you go to C and then we put uh, say the background sorry here I open the backgrounds here I, I will show you all the one that I've showed you all from a couple of seconds here is the profile picture this is the one the profile picture that I need to apply for uh, or the profile default account picture so here we will name it user okay and we need it to be in a jpg or pmp so we need to have this photo okay we will do it or this photo will be the default account picture photo so we need to save it as it's png we will save it at jpg and later i will save it as pmp okay so let's try here to save it okay we will save it and put it in the same folder okay so here i will go and put it in the backgrounds shared folder in the ally folder so let's go here and see how this will be done here i will go to the racc01 this is my uh, 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 domain account and then this is the shared backgrounds folder and then we'll go to the ally folder and save this as user.jpg okay so now we'll do this and we'll do this for the rest of uh, the other armies so we have a photo to be as a default account picture for all users for every army okay so you will see this is one for the ally we will go and do this for the japanese army so we'll go and have flag of the japanese army this is the one of the japanese empire and then we will save it as uh, we need to save it at jpg so first we need to rename it we will name it all user okay user.png and we will have a copy of this photo at gpg okay so we will name it user dot gpg okay this is the one to be the same as the one that windows use okay so now we will do it and save it as user and then we will tell him okay and then we will do the same for the russian army so we'll go and go to the russian army and then have this photo we will name it user dot png so we need to name it first and then rename it and then save it as a gpg okay as gpg okay and then we need to see here we have rename it now we need to save it at gpg and put it in the backgrounds ussr folder okay apply or okay now we need a way so we can replace uh, user.pmp or to insert user.jpg in the folder of the account photos okay so here we see that we need to do something here we need our user jpg for every army to be replaced in this location so we need uh, we will make our group policy go to this location and replace or add user the jpg to this destination okay so we can see the photo applied so by default uh, we have something called user.pmp in this location this is the default account picture for any user in the windows we need to have our group policy to insert a new file called user.jpg in this location so our uh, custom default account picture can be applied we will see that in a moment how we can do this and actually it is not user.jpg we need to insert we need to uh, replace user.pmp i will show you all this when it comes okay let's see how we can do this so here you go so if you go to this location 
let me show you all how we can go or when we go to this location and see where it is so we'll copy it and then when we try to open it from the run command first of all we'll go to the Japanese GPO and do the same we need to apply or to open the same group policy so we go to policies administrative templates okay and then we'll go to control panel and then user account and then we open apply default account picture for all users so we'll do this and enable it apply and ok and then we'll do this for the Russian army and we'll do this for the Russian army so we'll go there and apply it for the Russian army policies and then administrative templates and then we will go to control panel okay and then user accounts and then also we will have this enabled and then we need to go to the destination that this group policy refers to so we will go or we'll open the run and see this destination and see what does it contain so let me show you all how we can do this first of all we'll go to preferences so what we will do here we will have or we will do something here we need to tell it or to tell the group policy to insert user to jpg from every folder i put in the shared backgrounds folder to insert it in the location of c program data uh, microsoft user uh, profile folder let me show you all how we can do this but let me wait so here we'll go to the windows setting okay and then we go to files okay concentrate here here we will open files and then tell him new so what we will do he'll new file and then we need to tell him to get a source file we need it to copy a file from a source a destiny a source location and put it in a destination location so let's see first when we put the backgrounds folder okay here you see for example this is for the ally so this is the ally okay and then we'll make slash and then here we need this user gpg to be copied from this location and put in c program data let me show you all what we will do this so we'll copy this location and put it here and then tell him to get slash user .gpg. this is the file that we needed to be copied from this source source location to our destination location okay so let's see how this will be done copy and then we'll put it here paste and then where is the destination the destination it is another location which is c program data the location for the profile or or the default profile picture so let me show you all where is where is this location so we can see from here for example if you go to another uh, group policy i need o i not only i need only to get the location so the location here let me show you all for administrative templates okay and we will go to the control panel and then users and then we will go to the group policy here we need to go to this destination okay so this will be our destination we need it to be replaced here so we need to go there and replace this user to jpg okay so we will copy from our backgrounds folder user to jpg and replace it to this destination so here we go let's go back and show you all here we go this is the one so what will happen this jpg photo which contains our ally icon or uh, photo will be replaced with this photo for any user okay so if the user logged in the group policy will search the location in the windows or the folder called c program data microsoft user account pictures and see this user to jpg photo and replace it with the one that we have in our shared folder okay so this is how we can apply our uh, default account profile picture but here we need to uh, uh, change the action from update to replace okay so this is the my mistake so you need to make it a replace okay so this is it
we'll do this for the rest of the armies as well <coughs> okay so this is the one who tell him applied okay you can tell him in common if you need to apply to a certain group we don't need this because actually our allies GPO will be applied only to the users of this army so we don't need to apply it to a certain group because it's already attached to the organizational unit that contains the ally users only so we don't need to do this okay so we don't need to do this if you need it to be applied once so here you can tell him for example to apply it to a certain security group if you need for example we need to apply this uh, group policy for example to or to have this done to a certain group okay so I don't think we need all of this so we can pass it real quickly here so I will not do it so we will we'll pass it real quickly and then tell him general okay and then apply and okay and then we need to do the same for the uh, Japanese GPO and for the Russian GPO so now we have done this we need to take I'm just pasting the location so I don't need to copy it every time so I'll copy this destination or this source okay and put it here in a text file and then we'll take also the destination and copy it so we'll do this because we need to apply it to the Japanese GPO and for the Russian GPO okay so here we'll do this okay and then we will go or we now we will apply this see I've already done this we need to do it for the Russian army and the Japanese army so we'll go to the Japanese army and do this edit okay and then we'll go to the same we'll go to the computer configuration and then we'll go to uh, preferences and then Windows setting not control panel setting Windows setting and then file and do the same remember not to make update action update we need it to replace so we will replace a certain file with a certain file okay so this is one because actually this was a mistake from my side when I tried to apply this group policy uh, this group policy it wasn't working okay because I make the action to update not to replace the file okay so we tell him EOTS and then we need to uh, replace okay this photo okay and actually we'll find a surprise that this file actually doesn't uh, it, it is not there okay and this is one of the mistakes of the group policy it's saying that there is a user gpg in c program data microsoft default user uh, folder but it is not there anyway i will show you all this but let's wait here i'm just checking that i have done this for the uh, japanese army i have done this already so we need to do it for the Russian GPO and then we'll do this and open the same and then we'll do the same so we'll go and tell him new file and then we'll do the same location but for the uh, Russian army so we'll do this okay and then do this for the Russian army and let's see if this group policy will be applied or not so now we have it done and by the way uh, I have the allies GPO applied to myself so Karim or the user of Karim has the ally GPO applied to him so I need to see if I will see the profile picture change it or not so now we have done this so let's see if when we restart and see if the group policy will be applied or not so this is one of the things tell him right click and restart so here we will go and control alt delete and then ok here uh, when I log in with my user you should see a change in this photo ok but actually it uh, it didn't change for a reason ok so we need to troubleshoot if there is a group policy issue we need to have a tool to troubleshoot our group policy 
so this will be done using something group uh, group policy or something called GP result so here um, let me show you all maybe where is the problem here so if we go to this destination let's see if we go to this destination and see if user.jpg is there or not okay so let's go there the first thing to troubleshoot is to see if the picture is already there so if you go here what we can see first of all we cannot see user.jpg we can see only two user.bmp and user.png so the user.jpg it, it wasn't there from the start okay so the group policy didn't find a file to replace and even if this file is not there it will create it and put it here but for some reason the file was not created and actually there is no full uh, file called user.jpg the one that the windows use it's user.pmp okay so this is the one that we need to replace okay not user.jpg so let's see how we can rectify this error here we need to make a refresh I thought there was a problem and I will make a group policy update so I issue command to refresh or to reapply the GPOs or the group policies to me or to apply these group policies to this machine again so now we'll then right click and run and we will type GP update slash force this will reapply all of the group policies in the domain to my uh, workstation so let's see if this will rectify the problem so actually it will take a little bit of time and then we'll begin working with a couple of things so we will see if uh, the group policy is applied or not and we will do some testing to see so we'll upper our console and then we can uh, here I make a refresh still group policy wasn't applied here we can see that uh, this URL from IT Pro today says that the photo is user.bmp okay not gpg uh, on the contrary of what is said in the group policy itself okay so this is one of the conflicts and actually this is the one that we need to change I have uh, known this later so uh, there is a problem in the uh, group policy so here is the user.pmp so we need to have our uh, group policy change it to replace this file okay so we will go and and change it okay and change our group policy okay to replace this file so this is the thing we need to do so we will open our console and then we will uh, edit our uh, group policy and make it to replace uh, user.pmp not user.jpg so here we will open uh, the location again of our uh, server and the backgrounds or the allies so here we need to have our user jpg to be as in pmp so i will save uh, the, the the photo in pmp format so i can apply it so i will open it and then save it as pmp and do this for the rest of the photos for every army so let me tell him save it at pmp okay and save it to the ally uh, ally background folder so ally here and save it as pmp and then we will do this for uh, the russian army and the japanese army and then we will uh, change the group policy and see what happens okay so now we'll go there and we will open this photo and save it as GP, uh, as bmp so we can be able to replace the file so now we go to the japanese folder and then we will save it okay and then we will go to the uh, Russian folder and open the picture of the Russian army and save it as PMP okay and save it okay and save it here okay and then let's see if 
uh, now we need to uh, edit the group policy okay to change the the photo okay so we'll go to the group policy and edit it back again so we'll go to the ally gpo and then tell him edit and then we will go to the uh, policies or preferences sorry we'll go to preferences and then not administrative templates we'll go to preferences to windows setting and then change our file group policy so now we will go first of all i need to show you all when you go to user accounts and then open this group policy here we can see it gives us user.jpg not .pmp okay so this is one of the differences between the two okay so i am just here reading the group policy again and try to see if i have missed something so now it is correct for some reason but it is not user to gpg okay so we will close it and then we will open preferences so we will go to preferences okay i'm just um, a little bit confused here we go to preferences and then windows setting and then we will open files okay and then need to change this from uh, jpg okay the file from jpg so we'll tell him properties tell him from jpz user.jpg to dot pmp and pmp so this can be replaced and we need to change it from update to replace we'll do this later okay so we'll tell him bmp and then we need to go and do the same for the other one bmp and then apply and okay and then we need to do this for the uh, ally gpo and the japanese gpo so this is for the three group policies preferences windows okay and then files and then this one so we need to do i think i have done this for the ally gpo i need to do it for the japanese so now i will open it preferences windows setting and then files and then this one and then we change it from user to user pmp okay and then we make this pmp okay and apply and okay so now we need to do this and they will go this for the russian army gpo and we'll do this okay windows setting files then users okay and then pmp and then pmp pmp and then we will try to restart and see if the group policy will be applied or not and we will check the destination so after that we will restart and uh, see if it will be applied we'll tell him we'll go to this destination again when we restart to see if this is a changed or not okay so we need to see this so so we'll restart so we'll close it and then we'll restart and see how this will be done so let's wait for a moment just a moment so let's continue guys now we will see after the restart if we can or the default profile fixture will be changed so let's continue guys here we will see that the default picture was not also uh, applied okay so i am karim rauf and i have the ally gpo applied to my profile so we need to have or to see the allies photo or uh, logo to appear here okay so still so still it didn't appear so we need to see what was the reason we need to uh, have some tools to uh, 
test or to make sure that the group policy is applied or to test the GPO so let's see how we can do this I think we suppose displayed already so So here we will go to uh, we'll go to the run. We need to see if the photo or the user PMP was changed or not. So still, the user PMP. If we open this one, we will see that still the photo is it is so. If the group policy applies, this photo should be changed with our uh, ally GPO photo. Okay, so it was not changed. So there is a problem. So let's see. Refresh. So okay, we need to see uh, if there is other way we can test this GPO or see what's happening. So tell him GP GP update slash force just to make sure that the group policies are applied. So I am just refreshing the group policy or reapplying all of the group policies all of the group policies on this workstation. So now we have reapplied the group policy and still the default picture was not changed. So you can see this still there. Run and then I think maybe we need to uh, have a look again on the pr or the location to see if the user PMP is changed. It's not changed yet. So we have uh, updated the group policy or reapplied the group policies. Okay, and still uh, the PMP photo was not changed. Here we can see that the last access time was it uh, 2018 and this lab is 2021 so if this uh, file is changed we will see a change in the date okay but still it isn't so we need to see what's the problem we we'll make a refresh so we we'll make a refresh but still we need to go to the console okay or the custom console and make a gp result or run a gp result on this machine and see what's the problem okay so i think we can pass it real quickly so here we are just revising the group policy now we will open the console and then we need to go and have a gp result so we'll go and run a gp result wizard on this machine and see what's the problem so here we tell him next and then apply to this computer so we need to apply group policy to this computer and to the current user my user to see the group policy is applied to my user and then next and then we will click finish and see the result or see what happens here so if you open this report and see if there is any problem concerning this uh, this group policy so we can see is one error detected but is related to a fast link was detected this is not related to the group policy that you are talking about so let's see from here these are all of the group policies applied to myself so uh, we need to have a greater look or more look so let's let me show you all something here guys we need to uh, pause this video and go to a certain thing here so we need to go okay this is the group policy but this is not it just a moment so we need to go and have a look okay just a moment guys I need to go to 54 Okay, just a moment. Sorry guys, so here 
what we have done here I have run the group policy again to see where is the problem so here we will run it back and then we need to see this is another uh, test okay so let's see or this is another GPO uh, result so let's see here if we can uh, get this report and see just a moment so just a moment guys here we can see just a moment so here what we have done here we have run again the report to see if there is any problem so we have run this report again and actually a result when I run the report or GP result report I saw that the GPO was applied so I will uh, change the GPOs with another or we'll do another thing so we'll go to the ally GPO so let's go to the objects and then we will go to the ally GPO until edit and then we will add a second entry so we'll go to windows setting and then files and then we will change this one so here what we'll do we'll tell him properties copy first and then we will do two things first of all we will tell him to change jpg so we'll, we'll put a jpg file so we will create a jpg user photo and we will replace it so we will have two things first of all we'll create user to jpg just to make sure that it will be used as a default profile picture and this is the one and then we will tell him to replace okay the user pmp so here what i'm doing here i am just taking two considerations if the windows is using the user to pmp photo to be the default account picture it will change it or replace it and if it's using user the gpg uh, photo as a default profile picture so we will create it so you, you windows can use both or can use either one of them so now we will do this and then we'll tell him replace and then create okay so we have two things replace and create and then we'll do the same for the uh, japanese so we'll go go to files and then we will tell him to copy and paste another one so we will tell him to create user so we will do both we replace the photo and then we will create user the gpg so if the windows use user gpg it will use it if used uh, the windows use user the pmp it will use it so we have two so this one i have sought okay maybe there is a problem so i have done both okay according to the group policy it uses user to gpg but according to the url it uses user the pmp so here we will change the setting and see if it will work properties okay and then we'll go and tell him to uh, copy this policy and then paste and then tell him replace and then we will go to this one and tell him jpg okay jpg and then apply and okay so now let's see if the but here we need to tell him to uh, create not replace so we will replace the pmp and we will create the user the gpg so we have because the user the gpg is not it's not already there okay so we will create it okay so tell him just change the setting or revise the setting so here it is update we need to tell him to create okay so we will now see if the group policy will be applied now we'll go again and windows and then files so we have pmp as replace and user dbg to create okay so then we will tell him restart and see if the group pulse will be applied or not so let's wait and see we can go like this okay so now we will go with the same user here we can see also it is not changed so there is a reason uh, the group policy is not applied i have tested the group policy and it is applied already to my pc or workstation no errors concerning the group policy or the ls gpo there is no errors concerning uh, 
this group policy to be applied to this workstation so the last thing I will try to replace it manually by myself so I will replace the files manually and see if the thing will work okay, we'll go to the same location again and see here BMP is not changed because the date of the access is still 2018 and there is no JPG photo so the group policy didn't work so the last thing we need to do is to copy the files manually and see if there is an effect so now we will go and replace the files so what I do here I will tell him run and then I will go to this folder and then I will go to the location and another thing here guys maybe let me show you all uh, I will change the group policy before doing this I will change the group policy so if we have a little bit of a look here here we can see that this is C program data okay in the group policy we don't type C program data we type percentage program data percentage this is like or it is the same like typing C program data but maybe I thought there was a problem so I will type the whole location again so let's see if this will solve the problem so you will copy it so you will copy it and then we will again go to the allies GPO edit and then we will go to preferences Windows setting and then files and then let me show you all here we will change program so here what is it program this is percentage program data percentage this is the windows interpret it or change it to C program data so typing it is correct so you can type C program data or type percentage program data percentage this is a variable that the windows know and know if you type this this means it's equal to C slash folder program data but I thought this was the problem so I will change it to C program data but this is acceptable okay and the group policy knows it so let's change it and see if this will solve the problem so okay we will type it slash and then apply and okay So tell him apply and OK. We will do this for the rest, OK? So we'll do this. OK, and we need to do this for the user GPG as well. So we'll do this also. OK, we will replace it, slash, and then we'll apply and OK. I'll do this for the rest and see if the group policy will be applied so all of these are testing okay to see if uh, the group policy will be applied correctly but at the end after several trials yeah, this try will not or this change will not take effect and still the group policy will not be applied but at the end uh, when I replace the files manually so when I replaced user.pmp manually with the other file it worked correctly so uh, let me show you all uh, when this will happen I will tell you again how we can apply a default uh, account profile picture if the group policy didn't work so we'll do it in a manual way I will show you all how we can do this so here I will changing so we'll change it okay and we will see also that the group policy wasn't applied okay so this says that there is a issue so what we will do let me show you all first this group policy to be applied after changing the destination to C program data Okay, apply and okay. Okay, so now we will right click and restart and see if it is applied or not, but still it will not be applied. So let's wait and see if we tell him okay, and then we will type the username again.
and we'll type the password still this is not changed after all of the things that we have done but still we didn't succeed so there is something here we still it's still missing so let me show you all maybe what it is the problem so we can go there and if we open again the location of C program files or C program data okay we will go and see that user to gpg is not changed or is not created and pmp is not changed because the still date 2018 should be the date of today so still there is a problem okay it is not changed so what can we do we will go and what i'll do here i will again i will copy the files manually so let's see how this will be done so I will copy the files manually and replace them by myself so let's see how this will be done so right click and then run and then we will open the shared folder of allies folder or backgrounds and then we will open and open the take the user.gpg so here we will copy I don't think this is this is the issue here so you run and I think no we need to put the D folder I don't think this is also a thing to do so so what we will do again guys let me show you all after that so all of this is not the way let me show you all how I have solved this issue so at the end sorry so here what we will do we will go to C program data here what I'll do here I will change these files manually so here I will refresh still after a couple of trials it didn't work so what I will do I will copy I will copy the files manually so I will go to the share folder what I'll do now I'll go to the share folder here you go and then to the ally folder okay and then we will copy the file which is user PMP and JPG I will copy them both and replace them manually in the location so let's see if this will work right click and paste and let's see if this will be changed so let's see or, or we restart and see if here what we'll see here that the icon it is changed okay so it is changed so uh, so if you need to do this on a larger scale what you will do you will make a, a, a workstation and install windows on it and put all of the necessary programs and things and put the default profile picture in this machine and take an image of it and then apply it to the allies and do the same for the EOTS workstations and the Russians so this is the only way that we can apply it so if we restart we'll make a restart here okay and see let's try it back so we'll go there and we restart okay and then we will go again but here there's a problem when I type the password it is not changed here but if you go inside it is a change it so maybe uh, the group post it is applied but I don't think so so here we will go and see what happens if you open then here it is a change it okay so when we open it it is there already and change but it doesn't reflect outside so we we'll tell him control art or tell him lock the screen so here I am locking it and then we will make control alt delete still it's not changed but actually it is from inside you can see that the icon is changed so so what we'll do this is the end of our video we will shut down and shut down the power workstation and then log into the uh, domain controller and shut down also this uh, domain controller and we will shut it down by shutdown slash p so we'll do this like here okay we will tell him shut down okay slash p to shut down the server okay so this concludes for our video how to apply a default account profile picture the upcoming video we will begin creating a second domain controller and it will have windows uh, data center uh, core installed on it and we'll see how we can make a second domain controller and we'll make it as a file server and WSOS and we'll install WSOS 
uh, and uh, download updates and we will do uh, share folders on the file server and thank you so much for uh, seeing this video and hope it was informative thank you so much